What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from DND TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of y'all who will, I appreciate it. Everything goes back into the channel. Also, make sure you go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks TV. Go over there and make sure you subscribe. Now, let's get into this story. Now, I really was not going to do this story because I said, you know what, how much more can South Carolina take? I mean, they're already dealing with, you know, the John Gray situation that's going on that has put South Carolina on the map. And we all know what's going on with John Gray and his situation and his wife. We know what's going on there. I don't even have to talk about that. But then I did another story on Pastor Rashawn L. Wilson, who's also from South Carolina, and he was accused or well, basically charged with choking his baby's mama at the church until she passed out on the ground. And then I did another um, story on a pastor, Philip J. Buxton, who was arrested about a week ago. And he was arrested for having sex with an underage girl. They say she was around about the age of 13 when the sexual activity started. And now I am sad to report, but I'm just simply reporting the news. I'm not exposing these people because the news people already did the story. So they exposed it. I'm just reporting the news again. Get that right, people. Pastor Lorenzo Renard Washington. The pastor of an Aiken church is charged with sex crimes after police say he forced himself onto a teenager. Lorenzo Renard Washington, the pastor of the Mount Hill Missionary Baptist Church in Aiken. Man, it's a sad time to be Baptist now. Southern Baptist, Baptist with all them sexual allegation and the men who were charged, those deacons and stuff. Y'all read up on that stuff. Oh man, y'all Baptist people. And I went to a Baptist church. I'm glad I got from out of there. And I say, I ain't never going back, period. Pastor Lorenzo Washington, the pastor of Mount Hill Missionary Baptist Church in Aiken, is accused of criminal sexual conduct with a high school student. The alleged assault happened at Dorman High School at an athletic event. According to the police report, they said that Washington was a member of the school's booster club and that he forced himself onto a female student who was at a concession stand, concession stand at the athletic event. Now, I'm going to let you all watch this video since people think I'm lying. The news people, they expose this story. I'm just reporting it again. OK, and then I'm coming back with the rest of my commentary. And you all know I will not hold back. But look here, y'all, before I play the news video, I just want y'all to hear what the news lady says when the video first starts. It is a sad day in America, in the church uh, world period, when a news person and the, it's stories like this that are happening constantly every day. But when you have a story of this magnitude that has happened within the same county in South Carolina within not even a week or two, not even two weeks of each other, another pastor getting arrested on the same charges. The news lady says another pastor another pastor like is this gonna be common another pastor wants another underage girl another pat i want y'all to listen to that when this story opens the new tonight another pastor has been charged with sexually assaulting a minor at an upstate high school Spartanburg county deputies say the investigation started when a student at dorman high school reported being assaulted by a member of the booster club deputies say this investigation started two weeks ago and the 48 year old pastor was charged today seven news nickel smith is also working that story tonight Deputies walked Lorenzo Renard Washington out of the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office Friday. He's charged with criminal sexual conduct with a minor third degree and attempted CSC with a minor second degree. Deputies started working this case two weeks ago when they say a student at Dorman High School reported a booster club member assaulted her in a concession stand on campus during an athletic event after school. A report says the victim told investigators Washington touched her private area over her clothes and kissed her neck and mouth. A warrant states the victim is between 14 and 16 years old. The sheriff's office says the victim reported the incident to school officials who immediately told law enforcement and banned Washington from school events during the investigation. Deputies say Washington denied the allegations Monday, then canceled a second interview he scheduled with deputies for Wednesday. The sheriff's office arrested Washington today, where he still denied the accusations. Investigators say Washington was a pastor at church Churches in Grambling and Newberry and is currently a pastor in Aiken. The Mount Hill Missionary Baptist Church's website lists Washington as their senior pastor. The website also says he serves on the Dorman High School Executive 
Booster Club board and is responsible for mentoring young athletes while serving as the girls' basketball rep in Roebuck. Reporting in Spartanburg County, Nikkel Smith, 7 News. All right, y'all, now let's go in. Now, Pastor Washington, Pastor Lorenzo Washington, was charged with third-degree criminal sexual conduct with a minor and second-degree attempted criminal sexual conduct with a minor. At Saturday, Saturday's hearing, a judge gave him a $20,000 bond, which he posted. He is also required to wear a location monitor. Washington is the former pastor, as I stated before, at, at Mount Zion Church in uh, Spartanburg County. County, but now he's currently the pastor at Mount Hill Baptist Church. Washington is the second upstate church leader to be charged with sexual abuse of a minor this week. This week! Remember, Philip J. Buxton was last week. Well, this week as well. It wasn't last week. It was this week. Oh, my God. Let me tell y'all, son. Um, I look at these stories and I read these stories and the one Thing that I always think about definitely I'm thinking about the victims and like many of you stated in uh, the last uh, show I did with Pastor Buxton with that 13 year old girl where was the child's parent I don't know they didn't mention the child's mom or dad how did the child have two abortions and nobody knew about it nobody I mean come on man some of this stuff it, it, it's just really it's 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 crazy it is crazy and the crazy thing for me is that these are men of the cloth these are men and women, men and women who get in front of the church. Sometimes they're teachers. They're in positions of power. They act one way in the public, and then they have these deviant lifestyles behind the scenes. Now, I'm not saying that it, people have to be perfect in everything, but I want you all to know that I, I gave you all the letter. Uh, what was the age of consent in your state? That is something that everybody needs to know. You need to know that now these pastors specifically went out looking for underage girls. But there are some of you all who, like I stated before, and some people hit me up and said, Dawson, you right about that. You have to be careful on these dating apps. You got to be careful on these dating websites because you do. You have some teenagers who say they are uh, adults and you do have this and you can't get messed up. It is up to you all to know the age of consent in your state. You need to know that. Now, with this pastor, Pastor Lorenzo Washington, the age of consent in South Carolina, which I think is too low, it is too low, is 16 years old. Now, from what I read, it said that the girl was between the age of 14 and 16. So I'm thinking she was probably... I don't even want to put out. I'm thinking she's probably like 14 or 15. That's what I'm thinking. But still, it's sexual consent. So if somebody is the age of consent and they did not consent to have any kind of sexual activity with you, you still going to go to jail because it's the age of consent. They have to consent to it as well. All right. So that is something that is important for everybody to know. And there's the age of consent right there in your state. Y'all playing with it, but y'all need to look at that, especially y'all who go out of town and you go on these ministerial trips and you go here and you go there and you know you're prone to be loose, male or female, woman thou are loose, you too loose. You know you are prone to be loose when you go places. Come on now. Y'all got to know the age of consent and don't say women don't get fooled up with this. I told y'all on some of my other videos when I worked at Department of Ch Children and Family, most of the kids that I had, I had mostly teenagers on my caseload. Most of the teenagers I had were teenage boys, teenage boys who were in high school. And when I tell you the amount of older women who used to see them because they were basketball players and football players and some of them were in the dancing and rapping and stuff like that and they they were cool and, and the, the women would go crazy when we would go to the mall we take them out to bomb clothes and bomb shoes the women would go crazy oh he and i'm like come on lady this boy, boy this could be your damn child come on now this boy's 16 this boy's 17 he played football in high school he played basketball in high school but he's still a he's a kid and i had one client who i was trying to prosecute this lady i was trying to oh my god i was trying to prosecute her because my client i think how old that boy was 16 or 17 and he was living with her telling us oh that's my god mom i'm like man that ain't your god mom and everybody the agency would laugh because they was like man was she training him up right i'm like guys we can't laugh on that he's still a kid i tried to i tried so hard but that boy said that's my god mama that's all she is to me is my god mama so that's the, all the so i couldn't really move on that case but deep down inside my god i tried to catch them people on every corner and couldn't do nothing with it because it's seen as a pass 
when it's young boys who are 16, 15, 16, 17, oh, it's a pass, you know, that's their, there's the, what, a rite of passage. That's what they call it. But no, it's the same thing. It's statutory rape. I don't care that it's young boys. The same way we feel when it happens to young girls, we need to feel that way when it happens to young boys. Because those young boys grow up and you think being sexually molested or be tur being turned on to sex early does not affect you. It affects you. That's why some of y'all having problems with your husbands and boyfriends now because it affects you when you sleeping with... I ain't going there. See, y'all don't think it, it, you don't think this mess follows you in your adulthood. You in your 40s and 50s addicted to porn. You in your 40s and 50s, you can't come home to your damn woman because you got to stop by and pick up a prostitute no matter who that prostitute is. Y'all, if y'all, if anybody work in the social service field, y'all just put it in the comments that I'm not lying. All the stuff we see every day. People who have good careers, people who are so-called pillars in the community, messing up their life, messing up their wife life, messing up their family life because they have not handled stuff that happened to them as a child. Some of these people were turned out and turned on to sex too young and it has followed them and haunted them throughout their life. And they're married. Of course they married. They're going to put on a front in front of you. But they're married. But their penis is not committed to you. It's a ring on the finger. But there's no commitment to their, to their private areas to you. They have community penis and community vagina. And you standing right there talking about, I'm going to stand by my husband. I'm going to stand by my wife. They'll stand by you. They'll stand by you. But their bodies won't be committed to you. I see this stuff all the time, man. Now look here. I don't know why I got off on that, man. I just felt like saying that. Pastor Washington said he did not do it. Now, if Pastor Washington said he did not do it, he has every right to defend himself and when they go to court to do whatever is going to happen in court. But this young girl said it did happen. This young girl was distraught and everything at the school and all that stuff that goes with it. Now, I don't know. It didn't say he had a history of doing this, but you know they're going to continue to dig. What I want to tell you all as adults, the adults who listen to me, please, it is up to us to know how to conduct ourselves around these children. It is up to us to know how to do that. Now, when I worked with all them teenagers, nothing ever came out. You know why? Because I wasn't, we, we weren't cool like that. I was like, they would always tell me, you ain't my daddy. Why you always, you ain't my daddy. And you know what I would tell them? Well, where your daddy at? According to, to, the, to the state of Florida, I'm your daddy. According to what they say, I'm your daddy. <laughs> you have to put yourself in the parent role even if these aren't your children come on now it's so many adults around here you can fall out and have sex with why are you going for the children come on buddy it's so many grown women around here who giving it up all you gotta buy them is a big mac y'all know i'm preaching not all of them but some of them but look here and you going after the, some, some of them and you ain't even got to buy them that. They're giving it up willing. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. If you can't take it, log off, unsubscribe. I ain't finna play with y'all. Y'all know it's true. There are some men. You come on, y'all. You, you know this. We grown-ups. Why you got to go for them? It's about power. It's about control. It's pedophilia. That's really what it is. When you're seeking underage children, that's what it is. Come on now. The law, the age of consent right there. In your state. Now, like I told y'all, I think 16 is too low. I think 17 is, I think really it should be 18 across the board. That's what I think. But some of y'all in them other states, y'all flexible, but we're down here, we 18 across the board. And we, we ain't budging on that. I think that's what it should be. I think 16 is too low. But catch this. I had some women who were in the comments on the other videos who said Dawson. And we know this. Dawson, I was 16 and I was dating guys in my 20s. That's what a lady told me. And some other people said that. And we know from being in high school that there were always younger girls uh, who were dating guys in their 20s. And down here in Florida, we and some of y'all may know this, when they used to have the promotions for the clubs and stuff, they used to say... Guys have to be 21 and up, girls 18 and up. I remember that. I remember that. And actually, I just remember that when I knew I was going to do this story. Because we used to be young, like, oh, man, we're going to go to this club. You know, uh, nope, guys 18 and up. I mean, no, guys 21 and up, girls 18 and up. And I was like, man, why? Why we can't do that? Because society knew that girls matured faster than boys. But here's the thing on that, y'all. There was a story that I heard on the Al Sharpton radio show. And it was this young man. 
he was, I think he was probably about 24, 25. And he went to a club where you had to be 21 years and up to get in. And so this man went there and like many of us have gone to clubs and stuff like that. And like people do, sometimes you meet somebody, you hit it off, you have a one night stand. This young man met a girl at the club that he thought everybody in the club was 21 and up because you had to show ID to get in 21 and up. He met a girl there. One thing led to another. They took it back to the house. He had sex with this girl. Come to find out the girl got pregnant. The girl got pregnant, found out she was underage. She had a fake ID and she got into that club. When I heard this man's voice and the pain he was in on the Al Sharpton show and how he was saying, oh, my God, my life is ruined. I have to register as a sex offender now and I'm not a bad person. And even though the people from the club came in and said the girl brought a fake ID, they brought uh, documents and you had to be, uh, uh, what, 21 years old to get into this club. That man said none of that mattered in the court because they still charged him. As a sexual offender, they charged him with a sex crime, even though this girl said that she, y'all, it's that serious. Even though this girl said that she lied to get in the club, that boy, that man still has to register as a sexual offender. Y'all, that's how, come on, y'all, 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 it's Dawson. We ain't talking about no celebrity stuff over here. You better protect your life. You better protect your livelihood, your name. If you are an adult and you needed that bag, go to the strip club. Go pick. You know where to go get it from somebody your age. Come on now. You ain't got to mess up your whole life like this. Every time somebody Google you, every time you go for a job, this is what they going to pull up. Come on. You got to think about it. Is it really worth that orgasm? Really? Come on. Come on. Every time we Google you, this is what we going to see. You got to think about that. I ain't finna tell y'all nothing to make y'all shout. We think over here. This is a YouTube show for thinkers. We, we don't jump and shout and la sha 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 sha. Nope, we thinking. Because we're going to change our mind, therefore changing our lives. All right, now that's all I got. Pastor Washington, you will have your day in court. And hopefully this whole incident will be rectified and justice will be served no matter whichever way justice bends. It will be served. But let me tell you all this. I didn't mention this. You people who are prone to do this type of activity and you're married men or uh, women and you have your spouse who's standing beside you, you all must know something. Being in a relationship, a commitment, it means you're tied together. So if I'm tied to you, whatever happens to you happens to me because we're tied together. So when you are doing this cheating or acting out with younger people, whatever it is you do, remember that you're not going through that alone. You're dragging your spouse through the mud with you. You're dragging your children, your friends in many cases, and definitely if you're a pastor, your church members, because they love pastor. And honestly, if we just be honest, some of y'all just shouldn't have got married. That's just all it is. Because even with being married to your husband or to your wife, you're still not faithful. It's still not enough. Now, that's all I got. Go off in the comments. Let me know what you think. It's your guy Dawson. Take care of yourself and each other. Peace.